Hi everybody, it's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. Um, I'm just jumping on because I am getting ready to film um, the third installment of my Pair to Perfection um, series. So this is episode three of my Safety Eye tutorial. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around and get started on my eyes this week. See you in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to try this again. Um, I just made a set of eyes. I'm not happy with them, so I'm going to try again. I'm trying to make eyes that will look good with this pom-pom yarn. And I'll show you the eyes I made earlier, but I want them to be more wow. Like more of a wow factor. Um, and the green I used before... I think it was just this one, but I want it to be a brighter green and I want it to stand out. So I'm going to mix these two greens together and see if that makes a difference. So I'm going to use the cup that I used before, put some resin in here, and I'm going to add, oh, I haven't used this green before, so I'm going to take that off. Okay. I just think this green will show up a little bit better. And I think that will look better. And I used blue and green glitter before, but I think I'm just going to do, oops, because the, the, the glitter mixed around just kind of took away from the eye, so I'm just going to do peach and green this time. And this color is really vibrant so and I want my eyes to be vibrant okay I think that's good So I'm using 35 millimeter eyes and these are quite big. And I think I'm gonna do mostly this peachy color. And then, um, like a little more than half, I want to do the peachy color. And then do the other part in the green. I think will look really cool. Okay. So this green looks a lot more vibrant than the last one I did. Now, if I didn't want these colors to mix at all, I would have cured this under my lamp, but I'm going to try something with a toothpick. And see what that does. Okay. Oops. So I'm just going to take a toothpick. Oh, look, I got it all over my hands. And I'm going to drag the peach up into the, Let's see if I can get kind of like a cool effect. Okay, so I'm going to put that under my lamp. 
I mean, it looks cool. It looks cool, but what it will look like cured, I don't know. So let's do that again. Okay. Like, once, the longer I do this, the better I'll get at it. Like, it's just that I don't know the reactions of, you know, certain color combinations that kind of thing, but. So I want a little more pink than green, or peach, peach. I want to make sure I get out to the very edge of the eye. And I can always, after it's cured, go back in with more color on top. Grab my toothpick, drag up. I don't know if this is gonna, it does a cool effect on the back, but I don't know that it's gonna transfer to the front. We shall see. It looks pretty cool though. Okay, so I'm gonna give that about two minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just took the eyes out of the lamp and let's take a look and see how I'll show you the backs first because the backs kind of look a little cool. So I took the toothpick and I kind of scraped one color into the other and on the back it looks pretty cool. But unfortunately on the front of the eye it didn't really do what I had hoped it would do, but I still think they're pretty cool, and I think they'll look really good in my critter. So, um, so I will make the critter, and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm back with the critter made, and he turned out so adorable. How cute is this, you guys? Look! So I think the eyes look amazing. Amazing. This is so cute. So this pattern is from Saucy Puffin. Um, I will link her store in the description below. And the little baby does come out. <laughs> it's so cute, so cute. So I think a little kid would love this. And I never did show you the the other eyes that I did that I ended up not really liking and redoing them to this set. Um, I will use them on something else. I just, for the koala, I just don't feel like it was vibrant enough. So, um, but I will use them on something, probably a whale or a mama octopus or something like that. So, yeah. But those were the eyes I originally did and I wasn't happy with them for this project. So I redid them and got these ones. 
I just think she's so cute. So that's my video for this week, episode three of my perfect pairs. Or paired to perfection. Yeah, paired to perfection. Episode three. I hope you enjoyed. See you later.